On November 14, 2018, Stephanie's two-month-old son appeared limp and lifeless. After calling 911 and administering CPR, the baby was rushed to two different hospitals. The following day, he died, and the death was ruled a homicide. As of this taping, a man has been arrested for first-degree murder and aggravated child abuse. He is currently being held in jail without bond. But Stephanie thinks that the wrong person is locked up. She believes her ex-husband, Aaron, is the real murderer. But that's not all. She also believes that Aaron may have sexually been inappropriate with their daughters. Take a look. It was important for me to call the show because I wanted to get some answers. I've been a grieving mother since my son died, and I feel like I've been stuck wondering. My ex brought my son to me, life was. Everybody panicked. We all called the emergency hotline, and my son was rushed to the hospital. The next day, he ended up passing away. I ended up losing everything in a matter of seconds. My son injuries was fractured skull, healing ribs, a ruptured spleen. There is probably possibly a five to 10 different injuries and I can't even remember them all off the top of my head. But the manner of the death was ruled as a homicide. I felt like my world ended. I felt like I lost a piece of me. My, he was only two months old. He had this face just lit up the room, the biggest eyes, beautiful little angel. They questioned my ex-boyfriend, they questioned my ex-husband Aaron, they questioned my parents, my sister, every adult that was in the house that day. Just last week, my ex-boyfriend was arrested for first degree murder and aggravated child abuse. There was a press conference and I felt attacked because they wanted to call me a gutless mother saying that I know something when I don't and I feel like they've been trying to force me to come up with a story that I don't know of. I'm not saying that my ex-boyfriend is innocent. My ex-husband babysit my son earlier on that day and I don't understand why he's getting, not getting questioned and why he's not locked up either. And now I'm finding out that my daughters are being molested by my ex-husband, Aaron. I just want justice for my daughters and my, my son. First off, I believe she's just trying to get the spotlight off her ex and onto me. She knows that I would never hurt my children. I would never touch them. I would never do anything to that child either. I raised him as my own, even though he wasn't my own. What happened on November 14th of 2018? November 14th, I was taking care of JJ and he was feeling sick and so I gave him a little bit of child's Tylenol, not very much. I gave him a lukewarm bath, which broke the temperature and he was starting to feel better. So on that day, I don't know what he was. Was it her husband or just a guy? Or... Just boyfriend at the time. Sir. And they had uh, this little guy. He comes home and what happens? At the time, I had put the son in the room with Stephanie in the bassinet. She had to take a phone call for something important, and he had gone in the room and gotten JJ and brought him outside, which I found kind of strange. I went outside after him just to make sure everything was okay. I had a cigarette. I was talking to him and JJ as well, and everything seemed fine. The baby was giggling. I had gone inside and literally minutes later, he comes inside with the baby over his shoulder, and he passed me, and he passed the grandmother as well. It wasn't until he saw Stephanie in the hallway that he started saying the baby's not breathing. He handed the child over to Stephanie, and she didn't know what to do, so she had handed the limp child to me, completely lifeless, eyes dilated, and I did the best I could to do CPR on the child and keep him alive until first responders came. So the child then gets taken to the hospital and the autopsy reads, uh, scattered bruising of the torso. Okay, you know, again, this is a two month old baby uh, and it's got bruising all over its torso. Do you ever notice any bruising? I didn't notice any bruising and even on that day when I was taking care of him, and give Multiple them the hemorrhages, including back of the skull, brain damage, rib fracture, multiple healing rib fractures, which means uh, ribs were broken before that day, extensive, extensive lacerations of the liver and spleen, bruising of the lower abdomen and pelvic, blood in the abdomen, 
The cause of death was blunt trauma. And they ruled it a homicide. Are you fabricating the story that Aaron is sexually touching your daughters? You answered no. You told the truth. Then we went on to ask you about the child abuse to your two-month-old son that passed away. Did you ever strike or hit your two-month-old son? You answered no. Have you ever witnessed your ex-boyfriend striking or hitting your two-month-old son? You answered no. On November 14th, 2018, did you witness anyone hit or strike your two-month-old son? You answered no, and those results came back all the same, and they came back that you told the truth. Aaron, you came here and took a lie detector test, and uh, we broke it down to three different sections. Uh, molest with two different daughters, and then the child abuse. Uh, we asked you, did you, uh, this is for the youngest of your daughters. Did you ever show your younger daughter pornographic images? You answered no. Did you ever have sexual, did you ever have contact with your younger daughter for your own sexual gratification or pleasure? And both those results came back that you told the truth. Uh, Aaron, then we go on to ask you about your older daughter. And we asked you, did you ever show your older daughter any pornographic images? You answered no. You told the truth. <laughs> did you ever touch your older daughter's breasts for your own sexual gratification or pleasure? You answered no. You did not tell the truth. Oh, so you failed for sexually touching your oldest daughter. You want to share your feelings on it, Aaron? I have never touched her. OK. In a... But you did. I've, I would never hurt my child like that. Then we went on to ask you about the child abuse. Did you ever strike Stephanie's baby? And you answered what? No. Yeah. You answered no. On November 14, 2018, did you strike Stephanie's baby? No. You answered no. And the results uh, came back the same, teach one of those questions, and it came back that you did not tell the truth. I never hurt that child. I took good I'll care of it. I'll cut you! I'll cut you! <laughs> Let's bring out Dan. As we say many times, people start telling their story, and it makes no sense. What do you want Correct. to Correct. So, Steve, you picked it up early on that his story stank. I spent several hours between yesterday and today, over three hours, polygraphing Aaron. I conducted three separate tests on those issues, and he passed some, and he failed some. What I'd like to do is to take you to the chart so that the audience can see the type of reaction that he has when he says that he did not injure the child. This is one question. So if you look at the preceding question beforehand, we can see that he has almost no reaction. When I ask him about injuring the child, he has a dramatic reaction where he nearly blows the needle off of the chart. So the subject knocked the pen almost off of the chart with the deception. I would call this extreme deception. He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. Thank you, man. Thank you, Steve. Just tell me the truth. When you go to prison, I'll put something on your commissary books for you. I promise. You want to give me some truth? I have nothing that I recollect nothing... doing that was wrong. You never, you recollect. What does that mean? I don't remember ever striking a child. Do you ever child. remember blacking out? There's been times where I blacked out when I drank, when I was Watching the baby? Younger. How about when you were watching the baby? Not that I remember. Well, now we know what kind of line of defense you're going to use. And with that, you can get the hell off my stage. Yeah!
Thank you to all of our fans for helping us reach 1 million subscribers. Now let's get 1 million more. Make sure to subscribe now.